5 million Tibetans have died, killed after the Chinese invasion. The world's longest surviving political prisoner is a Tibetan. The world's youngest political prisoner is a Tibetan. The most amount of political prisoners who are faith-based or with a religion is Tibetan. I'd like to now invite to the podium uh, the venerable Paul Den Gyatso. Paul Den survived 35 years of confinement in the Chinese Gulag. He was an Amnesty International prisoner of conscience. Throughout his imprisonment, Gyatso's resistance to the Chinese repression served as an inspiration to freedom lovers all over the world. Since his escape from Tibet to India in 1992, Paulden has devoted his entire life to exposing the human rights atrocities of communist China. He has given evidence at, UN, at the UN's Conscience on Human Rights in Geneva. He's also testified before the United Nations, the Oslo Human Rights Forum, and the US Congress. 
He was awarded the John Humphrey Freedom Award. And you can learn more about Gyatso and his journey in the internationally acclaimed award-winning documentary, Fire Under the Snow. It is my great honor and delight to introduce to you Paul Den Gyatso. My story started in 1959 when I was arrested for my involvement in that year's Tibetan national uprising against the Chinese invasion. In fact, I was branded as a mastermind behind the uprising and was sentenced to 13 years in prison, a term that I completed and finally released with the court order. My torture stories are too long to be told here. Some of them are so violent and inhuman that it is difficult for the listeners to believe. Let me share with you a couple of them. Hunger was one. We were not given enough food to eat. As a result, 70% of the prisoners died of starvation. I was 24, and because there was no food, I tore my leather shoes and ate them. While I was sent out to work in labor camps, I ate bark of trees, green grasses, insects, rats, leather straps, animal bones to survive. I saw some of my prison mates eat from dead bodies. Among the torture weapons they used, the worst was sending electric current to our live body. Many died instantly as the current was so powerful, and those who survived had permanent damage caused to their body. It was September 9, 1990, that I was in Lhasa Trasi prison, and during the interrogation, they used electric shock in my mouth, and I collapsed and became unconscious. When I regained my consciousness, I found two lower teeth and one upper tooth missing. Hearing all these terrible incidents happening in Tibet, I'm sure that the sympathies in you will be aroused, and it is my request that you channelize that compassion towards removing sufferings in Tibet. Things are very bad in Tibet, but we have not lost our hope. We strongly believe that more and more nations in the world becoming more democratic, becoming more aware of rule of law, we are very sure that a day will come, that they will come to our support and Tibet will be back to the old state. The bottom line is this, that we are Tibetans and Tibet is not China. And that spirit of being a Tibetan, being not Chinese, being very different, is so strong in us, no matter how much time it takes, we will continue this struggle on the right path, and we will see sun one day. Thank you. It's quite a challenge trying to capsule 53 years of repression, murder, cultural genocide, uh, religious uh, persecutions, 
um, population transfer, forced terrorization, all on one single nation in five minutes. Tibetans used to be very ferocious, war-loving people. We marched up to the heart of Russia. The Great Wall of China was partly built to keep us away. So in uh, 641 AD, King Songsen Gambo, he started a matrimonial alliance and married the princess of China, Wen Chen. When the princess came to Tibet, she brought in a statue of the Buddha. Thus, Buddhism was introduced in Tibet. The irony is China is now trying to destroy it. 6,000 temples have been destroyed. The, the materials, the walls of those temples were used to build roads where our grandparents were afraid to walk on the streets. Handwritten prayer books were burnt in the middle of the streets. High priest, nuns, were paraded through the streets. 1.5 million Tibetans have died after the Chinese invasion, killed after the Chinese invasion. China entered Tibet in 1949 and illegally invaded in 1959. This was when the UN was being formed, the, UN, uh, the United Nations Organization, UNO, was being formed. This was when the Declaration of the Human Rights were being written. Tibetans were being prosecuted. Tibetans were being tortured, sent to prison. The world's longest surviving political prisoner is a Tibetan. The world's youngest political prisoner is a Tibetan. The most amount of political prisoners who are faith-based or with a religion is Tibetan. Tibet has been turned into a police state by China. Freedom House actually calls Tibet the worst of the worst place on earth. Thousands of Tibetans are lying in prison, dying, some come to talk about stories like Palden Gyatsola. Many expect him to go out and talk about what's happening in the prisons. This is huge for us as a community, as a civilization, to come in front of you and talk to you. Tibetans in Tibet have risked a lot, killing themselves, burning themselves, arrested, dying in prison. Their hope is not to change the Chinese government. Their hope is one of you will listen to them, hear about them, know about them, and make a difference. Tibetans in Tibet are expecting the world to react. It is an honor to speak here on this platform, prestigious platform, in front of people, faith-based people, in front of the community leaders. And on behalf of six million Tibetans across the world, we call on you to reach out to everyone that you know. Tell them about Tibet. Google about Tibet. Find out about Tibet. Your voice will make the difference. These people expect that. And these people are hoping for that. Thank you. She was a banite. She was a banite. Burning books by the million. They took it. Everything they could steal Destroyed 6,000 monasteries Beneath clothing we conceal The sacred text of our people Held tightly against our chest as we fled across the border
to India from Tibet. She was a panique. She was a panique. Without land. Without a country, one hundred thousand refugees, one million killed, so many orphans. The Dalai Lama, he called for me. Mm, will you be there to help the children? To build schools, clinics, and libraries. Will you be there to help the people serving others? I agree. She was a bunny She was a bunny. What can we do but to be mindful? Where can we go but to be kind? Compassionate to soothe those who suffer, to keep hope alive. Well, for Tibet, for the children, for those in whom he had to arise, may love grow, may, may love, love prosper, may to men never die. She was a bunny she was a bunny she was. She was a bunny 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 Gracious God, this afternoon we remember all people who are oppressed, who long for religious freedom, and who long to be free. But this afternoon we lift up especially the people of Tibet, who long to be independent, who long to educate their children in their own language, who long to worship as they choose, who long to preserve their rich, rich culture and heritage. May we see the day when war and bloodshed cease, when a great peace will embrace the whole world. Then nation shall not threaten nation, and humankind will not again know war. For all who live on earth shall realize we have not come into being to hate or destroy. We have come into being to praise, to labor, to love. 
नमो तस् भगवतो अर्हतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अर्हतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अर्हतो Blessed are those who plant peace, they shall be people of God. Blessed are those who work for immigrant rights, they will be citizens of heaven. Blessed are those who walk in solidarity with the marginalized, they will experience comfort. Blessed are those who create paths for all people to live purposeful lives. They shall become fountains of life. Om. Om Dev Shanti Antariksh Ghum Shanti Pradvi Shanti Rapa Shanti O Shataya Shanti Vanaspataya Shanti Vishwedeva Shanti Brahma Shanti Saravagum Shanti Shanti Reva Shanti Sama Shanti Redi Om Shanti 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 When I still I can hear the voice within The voice within my heart when I'm still I can hear the voice within hear the voice within my heart for God is can feel the love within, feel the love within my heart. Oh, only when I'm still can I feel the love within, feel the love within There is no easy road to freedom. None of us acting alone can heal our world. Help us then to act together as a united people for reconciliation, for freedom, for healing of the whole earth and the birth of a new world. Be with us, please. Amen. Om Dyao Shanti, Antariksha Shanti, Prutivi Shanti, Apa Shanti, 
ಔಷಧ ಶಾಂತಿ ವನಸ್ಪತಿಯ ಶಾಂತಿ ವಿಶ್ವೇ ದೇವಶಾಂತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಶಾಂತಿ ಸರ್ವಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿರೇವ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸಾಮ ಶಾಂತಿರೇದಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮೇ ದರ್ ಬಿ ಪೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಾಯ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಮೇ ದರ್ ಬಿ ಪೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಅರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಫೂಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಮೇ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ಸಾನಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಮೇ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಮೇ ದರ್ ಬಿ ಪೀಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಮೇ ದ ಪೀಸ್ ಬಿ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಮೇ ಗಾಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಮೀ ಸಚ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬೌತ್ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಲಿಡರಿಟಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟಿಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಟಿಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟಿಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ನೀಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಿಬ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್